The falling out between former Golden State Warriors teammates Draymond Green and Jordan Poole set up a domino effect that hurt the team's chances of defending their championship and ultimately ruined their roster. So in today's video, I will be discussing everything we know about Draymond Green and Jordan Poole's beef. Poole, the Euro, counted! Out to long right. Draymond and the Wiggins inside! It happened, maybe he'll get suspended the game, maybe Draymond was a headache, maybe Poole reacted wrong. Relationship before the beef. Last October, the Golden State Warriors roster witnessed a punch that nearly ended the dynasty and derailed their promising season. And it all happened during an off-season practice when a heated exchange between power forward Draymond Green and shooting guard Jordan Poole escalated to the point where Green punched Poole and they had to be separated by teammates. It wasn't the first time they have had a verbal altercation as they were caught arguing against the Minnesota Timberwolves just a year earlier. However, this was the first time their verbal arguments turned physical. Whatever the case, the punch changed the trajectory of a relationship that was amazing prior. Due to injuries to Steph Curry and Klay Thompson in recent years, Poole had played with Draymond Green the most. And the 2017 NBA Defensive Player of the Year has always been outspoken about shooting guards' importance to the Warriors. Green even suggested that Poole might be the final piece the Warriors were missing since Kevin Durant left the team. Green acknowledged at the time that Jordan Poole had established himself as a respectable replacement for Steph and Clay when the Warriors needed a win and someone on the squad to step in to get it. And as such, the entire roster had grown confident in him to close the game. And given the confidence a veteran like Green and the rest of the roster had in him, Jordan Poole turned out good for the Warriors, as he helped Green in winning his fourth NBA championship. So how did such an amazing relationship between both former teammates go bad? What exactly did Jordan Poole say to piss off Draymond Green so much that he punched him? What did Jordan Poole say to Draymond Green? After the incident between Jordan Poole and Draymond Green went viral, the Warriors organization did everything to keep the situation under wraps, even going as far as to hire a law firm to track down and punish the video leaker. In any case, months after the incident and several speculations later, we have learned the truth about what happened from a more reliable source. American rapper Cameron, who has friends in the locker room, alleges Poole, a graduate of Michigan, told Green, who also attended Michigan State, I effed more bitches at Michigan State than you. He went further to claim Green, whose contract situation with the Warriors was unclear at the time, would be playing in Sacramento next year. And finally, to the trash talk that prompted the punch, Poole said, Why is your Twitter handle at Money Green when you broke and you not gonna get a new contract? Unfortunately, given that none of the players on the roster has come out to admit what led to the punch, no one can say for certain that this is what Poole said. However, given what Draymond said on Patrick Beverly's podcast after he signed a four-year, $100 million contract extension, there seems to be some truth to these rumors. On the podcast, Draymond Green explained that dialogues happen over time, and given that he has always supported Jordan Poole's trash-talking, he is not someone to be triggered by something that fast. But Poole said something you don't say amongst men, things that you have to stand on. Unfortunately, these things you don't say amongst men and the resulting punch did nothing but derail not only the Warriors' season, but also affected squad chemistry and Jordan Poole's performance. How it affected the Warriors' season. Just 10 days after the infamous punch, Jordan Poole signed a four-year, $140 million extension with the Warriors. It was a sign at the time that the Warriors had moved past the incident and were prepared to defend their NBA title in 2022, with Jordan Poole playing an important role. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case as the Warriors ended the season with a 44-38 record, finishing sixth in the NBA Western Conference and losing in the second round of the playoffs. It was the first time the trio of Steph, Draymond, and Clay had lost a Western Conference playoff series in the Kerr era. Despite Jordan Poole averaging 20.4 points on 43% shooting, 4.5 assists and 2.7 rebounds per game in the regular season, the Warriors and Poole especially struggled in the first half of the season. Poole's efficiency dropped as he was taking 8.1 triples per game and shooting 4 percentage points worse while averaging 3.5 turnovers per game. He absolutely looked lost most of the time, trying too hard to prove that he wasn't and in one of the cases he did that was against the Memphis Grizzlies. With just over a minute remaining in a tight game against the Grizzlies, Poole shot a desperate 30-foot three-pointer that left even Curry angry. 
so much that he threw his mouth guard into the stands, triggering an automatic ejection. Fortunately, Poole eventually redeemed himself with the game-winning layup. However, as the season progressed, it became obvious that the team's chemistry was failing. And one of those instances was against the Oklahoma City Thunder when Draymond Green was practically begging for the ball in the middle of the floor, but Poole failed to give it to him. And when he eventually received the ball from Klay Thompson, Green was visibly frustrated but said nothing afterwards. Unfortunately, this drama showed up to the playoffs with Jordan Poole becoming shadow of his former self as his decision-making was poor and the Warriors suffered for it. In the opening games of the series against the Sacramento Kings, Poole showed flashes of his 2022 run, averaging 14.8 points, 3 assists, and 2.8 rebounds in the first game of the series. However, in the last three games of the series, he averaged a measly 8.3 points on 28.1% shooting per 22.9 minutes played. In the Western Conference semifinal against the Los Angeles Lakers, despite scoring 21 points on 46.7% shooting in the Warriors' Game 1 loss to the Lakers, he took a desperate shot from 30 feet that could have won the game in the last minute of the game and missed. After the game, he appeared to take a shot at head coach Steve Kerr's decision to play him only 19 minutes in the previous round's Game 7 against the Kings. Only so much you can do when you play 15 minutes, Poole said. Unfortunately, in the next five games of the series, he averaged 18.8 .8 minutes on the court and had a poor showing for it, as he averaged 5.8 points on 30.2% shooting and 0.059% shooting beyond the arc per play. Jordan Poole failed to deliver when it mattered, raising concerns about his future with the Warriors. In fact, when Steve Kerr came on Draymond Green's podcast to commend the Miami Heat's young players for accepting their responsibilities during the Heat's run to the NBA Finals, it appeared as though he was taking a jab at Poole. Kerr even admitted that there's no hiding that the incident between Draymond Green and Jordan Poole at the start impacted their season as the team lost trust in one another. Whatever the case, this series of events only meant that Jordan Poole no longer had a future with the Warriors. But even so, what is the current state of their relationship? Trade and Current Relationship After the offseason began, the Warriors soon traded Jordan Poole to the Washington Wizards for veteran point guard Chris Paul. The trade was shocking given the fact that despite his challenges last season, Jordan Poole is a promising future all-star and he was traded with some draft picks for CP3, who will be the third or fourth oldest active player in the NBA next season, depending on whether Iggy Odalo retires. In any case, since getting traded to the Wizards, Poole has been utterly quiet about his relationship with Draymond Green. He has mostly avoided any questions about his relationship with the power forward, while Draymond Green, on the other hand, hasn't, as he keeps addressing it this offseason, even going as far as to have a back and forth with Jordan Poole's dad on Twitter. Poole's father had responded to Draymond Green's statement about his son on Patrick Beverly's podcast and called the power forward a soft-ass bitch, as he never apologized to his family for the incident. He also liked to tweet calling Draymond something you shouldn't call someone, featuring a video of Kevin Durant talking about Green. Draymond, who could have responded in a way to calm the situation, did nothing as such, making it more obvious that his relationship with Poole and his family had gone really bad. The back and forth showed that none of them was ready to put the incident behind them and that Draymond's public apology at the time of the incident might not have been genuine. Whatever the case, Jordan Poole, who has been very quiet so far, recently took to Instagram to make a cryptic post that many presume is addressed to Green. In the post, he wrote, Talk of the topic and find you a hobby. With some laughing emoji, and given Green's endless chatter about the incident, it wasn't hard to assume that he might be addressing the power forward. Nonetheless, with Poole now in Washington, he has the opportunity to distance himself from the incident with Green. But one thing is certain, they are not on speaking terms and may not be for some time. What do you think about the Jordan Poole and Draymond Green beef? Do you see it getting uglier when the season resumes? Let me know in the comments section.